Right. Bob and Dave explained. Um, where do I start? Apart from, it's it's a parody. It's a comedy, right? Um, the the page has picked up quite a bit of a following, like the last couple of over the last year. Or so some some inboxes kind of not really getting it. Some offering fights. Um, it's it's basically um obviously i'm busy seven days a week in the in, into a lot of things <clears throat> and um i had dave I, I tell you what before i even come across them just these videos kept coming up um of two guys in steel city gym which which is in middlesbrough and uh it was obviously clearly a spoof, you know, just two lads, best friends, um, not taking life too seriously and just kind of taking the piss. These videos would always end up with one, you know, cat. you've seen it, you, you know, um, one talking and the other one getting angry and one being the voice of reason, one um, just getting angrier and uh and attacking the camera and 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 it's kind of become a little bit of a cult following because i've had messages from people like from manchester um people putting on acts <clears throat> um people going out buying slazenger vests just for a laugh and drinking stella and using using the lingo um Probably, probably the straight the the strangest experience I had was anyway. Sorry, I've just fast forwarded it a bit there. But it wasn't too long before I, I don't know, I came across Bob and Dave, real people, best friends for since the womb. And uh, anyway, Dave was like, "Well, yeah, you know, you write books, Jamie, but you also publish them as well." And he was like, "I said, I'll write a book. I've got a book in me." And I was like, "Yeah, okay." He said, oh, no, I have. And I was like, right, <clears throat> well, if you do it, I'll offer you a deal and um, and we'll crack on from there. And I didn't really probably take it serious at first, but he kept sending me screenshots of this story. Parody, straw, comedy. Um, two young men, one from Thornry, one from Normanby in the they went on to own the town of Middlesbrough and everything was in it. The myth, the legend, the folklore will be embedded. Um, it's it's a comedy, right? But there's a lot of... There's, there's a, cash, a few true stories in there. The book itself is dedicated to um, Dave's older brother, who's sadly passed many years ago. Um, and it's... Listen, the, the world's... A funny place at the minute and um i think everyone could use a bit of a laugh so you've got two characters anyway so i i, I kind of said anyway do a book and, and he, he came back and he was like right there you go so us at war cry publishing we produced it and um yeah we've um it's done quite well this year because you know i mean one one bad review we had was what was it it was a woman um i bought this true crime book and it was foul disgusting and i kept reading more of it and it got even worse and i put it down i was like oh god it's not a true crime book clues in the name it's a parody it was a bestseller but it's under the parody comedy for a reason um so so yeah not everyone gets it and i understand that um yeah, I suppose you know if you're not if you if you're from Middlesbrough and you know the 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 jokey stories or if you know them, then you're gonna get it. But uh, it's not for everyone. But yeah, these kind of two guys, if you like, have have kind of made it's almost like the Happy Mondays years ago, thirty years ago. Neo Geo Goy is it or something like that? It was just a nothing brand, and. Um, Bez and Sean Ryder said, listen, we'll we'll wear your stuff, make it really cool. So um 
yeah, I think that's what I think that's what's happened in Teesside with Slazenger, Palmos, um, Stella, all the things linked to Bob and Dave. But overall, it shouldn't be taken too serious. It's not meant to dig at anyone. Um, the people who it does have digs at, uh, um, your Paul Venice, your Paddy Maloney's, um, who else is there? Mickey Lawrence who owns the state. They're all friends, do you know what I mean? So it's just a bit of banter. Um, and obviously I've got many um, kind of business pages for, for selling for selling books. And, and that really... It's been my therapy sometimes when, you know, certain people are, when there's nonsense put on you, about you online. And, um, you know, the best way to do it is just laugh it off. And it's, you know, Dave, who I deal with quite often, is just an absolute pleasure. And he's um he's never serious. And, and I like that. I like to be, I like kind of strange, odd, weird people, as you probably guessed. Um, but, yeah. That was the first book. <clears throat> if anyone wants to buy it now, it's out on Amazon. As I always say to the any greedy fuckers out there, it's four pounds ninety five via Kindle from Amazon. And if you want the paperback, it's twelve ninety five. But Dave is got a stack load, and he'll give you them for um, for a tenner or something. Like that if you want inbox a page and have one dropped off, and the sequel to it, Bob and Dave. Two, the moon was already ours. Um, it's more of the same. Um, yeah, there's a chapter on Paddy Maloney in there. Uh, I think they go to Shane Taylor's house and eat his tea. Um, they take a grand of Paul Venice. All this kind of. It's just listen. You know, if you know Bob and Dave, then you know what they're about. And uh, I'm told that when they're in Steel City, they often brighten up the place with the silly humour. Um, but yeah, a lot of people kind of get the wrong, wrong idea and they're like, you know, and it's not, it's just, listen, it's, um, it's just Middlesbrough silly humour. Um, but it is, it is actually a really, really de decent, interesting read. And as I said, it does help if you're probably from Middlesbrough because you, you, you know, the, um, you'll, you probably, the, a lot of the jokes and the banter and the words will go over your head. But I'm proud to have put my name to it, and the sequel is going to come in December. But for anyone who wants to get on the Bob and Train, Bob and Dave Gravy Train, um, yeah, you know it's um, the yeah the the page has got up to a bit of a following, and as I said, it's kind of gone on to um, it, it's people like talking about it on Instagram now and Twitter. Um, do you know the funniest story, which I will tell you. This is what I meant to say to you. Was <clears throat> it must have been about a year back anyway, and my son um, was at college, so he was like eight, 17, 18 at the time, and he said, "Oh, he said, oh, everyone at college just talking about Bob and Dave." So I think he must have overheard me because obviously I work from home, so he, you know he was like, "Did you just mention Bob and Dave there?" I was like, "Yeah," and he was like. Oh my God, yeah, loads of people at Middlesbrough College you're talking about. And I was like, Thomas, you do know that's one of my books, don't you? <laughs> and he was like, he had no idea. Um, so I thought that was quite funny. He was like, no way. I was like, yeah. I was like, you know, obviously, Dave's written most of it. I've had a few tweaks here and there. And uh, me and Dave have worked together. But to be honest, uh, all the magical stories, um, they are all came from Dave Taylor's imagination and uh, credit to him. And, yeah, listen, the, the world isn't a nice place at the time. Middlesbrough's not, you know, not, not can, can be too pleasant at times. People, there's always someone bad mouthing you or even though you're giving to charity this or that or trying to do something. Um, so this is just a bit of a bit of a tongue-in-cheek banter. And, um, you know, a, a lot of people, listen, everyone in that gym, Steel City Gym, they all know Bob and Dave is. Um, obviously locked down at the moment, so there can't be many videos. Um, they haven't been really together at the minute. Obviously, everyone, everybody knows connected with the page. Bob is either in prison or 
he he works on the rigs. He's on the Aberdeen train. He's he's often on the Aberdeen drinking Stella. And if he wants to kick off, he kicks off. Nobody stops him. Um, but yeah, it's uh, you know getting them two together at the minute is kind of it's it's you know it's it's hard as you can imagine. But uh, the two characters I have a lot of time for, and they yeah the yeah uh, they always put a smile on my fat face. So guys. Yeah, Bob and Dave, T-Side, If the Boo Fits is out now. The sequel, um, Bob and Dave 2, The Moon Was Already Ours, for obvious reasons. Um, and it's just silly, silly, Middlesbrough humour. Um, and I hope, if you've read it, um, you know, you go over and give us a, give us, tell us what you think of it on Amazon. So thank you so much to everyone for supporting this page. We've got something like a 5,000 following now. Um, I actually bought my, <clears throat> I actually, this is a true story as well. My, um, my boss, he's got a one year old son who can't even talk. I've just sent him a, <laughs> I've been looking for weeks and, um, I had a look online. Well, the wife did, to be honest. And we found a Slazenger vest for a two year old. So we're going to, I've sent it to him. And he said, oh yeah, I've got it. So he's going to send me a picture tonight. The kid can't even talk, but when he puts that Slazenger vest on tonight, there's, the, do you know, the, without a question, what's going to come out his mouth is, hey, yeah, get my tea done, you daft cow to his mum, probably, you know, and he'll be on his dad's Stella and all that. But listen, thank you so much, guys. Uh, keep following the page. And thank you for all your interest and support. And don't forget, buy the book. I'll send the boys round. Um, Paul Venice has been told, listen, Paul, just because you've got the part to play, play Lee Duffy doesn't mean as... Bob would say, doesn't mean your game is fuck, right? Come in the Steel City bag room with them. All right, thanks guys, God bless.